Hey everyone, I hope you've been well and having amazing weeks. Um, I just wanted to share a bit of behind the scenes in my week and also my day. And one of those goals is to declutter and organize my studio space. Um, I feel like inevitably as you start working a lot, um, just a lot of little things get thrown around and as you can see right now my desk is like this whole pile of stuff so i'm going to spend this morning tidying everything up and i think i'll take you guys along to either like the container store or a michael's to get organizers um i'm just ending up with a lot more products that need organizing so um yeah i'll take you there in a bit but for now time to declutter Also, on a quick side note before I get packing, my Pilia is back alive. She's back in business. I can't believe the progress that this plant has made. It definitely was root rotting in the old pot, in the old soil. So I got this drainage pot that just drains from the bottom here, just so that um, the, soil, the roots can breathe in the soil and already it is looking so green and vibrant and yeah just thriving i'm so happy i really thought that it was the end of the line for this pilia but looking really good very happy about this I made it to Michael's. Um, I hope I can find either like a sticker organizer or like a wall organizer. I don't know. I'll see what happens when I get in there, but I tend to have a lot of like little clutters, so I think it'll be good. My hunt for organizers in Michael was not successful unfortunately so I think I'm going to head over to Ikea and they have this wall organizer that I've been wanting for a long time I think some of you might know what it is it's like a pegboard but you could attach different compartments to it it is a bit pricier but I think it's worth it for the long run um yeah so I'm gonna go and head over there and see if they have anything hi so um the trip to Ikea also was not very successful. Um, I might have to go to um, the container store or another store where I can get organizers, but um, sorry, someone's using a leaf blower outside. <laughs> um, I also have been waiting to pack my Patreon orders because I'm waiting for the sticker shipment to come in. But for now, I thought it'd be really cool to do like a little draw with me session, like a drawing tutorial with you guys. So I'll walk you through like what brushes I like to use and also just um, finding my style, getting out of art block and talking about all those things. So yeah, let's get right into it. A lot of projects open so I wanted to make a new canvas for prints which I'm drawing today I'll use the 4.25 by 5.5 canvas the main brush I'll be using today is the 6b pencil that comes with the procreate pack along with the 6b pencil I usually use um, a couple of other pencils like the ink pen or the blunt ink pen and these are really helpful for outlining and I also use the gouache brush in the painting set to add some texture. So these are my usuals and I definitely recommend. 
Now for my color palette, I have my own set color palette that I use for all my shop stuff. I named it brand here, but you can really compile any colors that you like and make your own palettes, which I love Bro Procreate. These days I've been struggling a lot with art blocks, so I just decided to scribble down just anything that came to mind and go from there without really a plan in mind. So. As usual, my default is drawing a cat, and this cat is Choco, my favorite little cat in my brand, and I am using the 6B pencil to first outline everything, and then actually I use the 6B pencil to also color everything in. So here are his little um, ears and features, and with all of this, I'm going to use the same color to color it in, and this gives me a nice base coat. I love the grainy look that this gives by coloring it in with pencil and the little gaps make it seem more organic. It brings me back to my roots of coloring with colored pencils when I was younger. So yeah, I really love this look. A technique I like to use with the eraser is to actually use the same brush as my eraser. And this is how I add Choco's features. It's not actually a white pencil on top, so I can move it around and it'll still maintain its shape and color. Another huge thing I do with each of my projects is work in layers. So as you can see, I moved a new layer underneath this one and I'll be drawing Choco's body on the new layer. And I also decided to switch this around because I thought it'd be nice to have Choco's body more elongated on a horizontal, horizontal canvas rather than a vertical one. With Choco's body, I wanted to try playing around with more abstract shapes to sort of represent his body. Um, and I also wanted to play with the shape of the tail. I made a couple of edits. Um, I still wasn't satisfied, but today was a day to just get everything out on paper. So. I decided to just go with it and see what happens. Coloring it in by hand with the brush definitely takes more time than dragging the color in to fill the borders, but I really like the more raw look of just coloring it in, so that's what I did here and it's honestly very therapeutic to just not think about anything but what's right in front of me and this has sort of also helped with my art block and just playing again with textures, colors, um, and designs. I thought for a long time what to add to the print it seemed a bit empty so I drew some sunflowers to add a pop of yellow and green and um, I thought it'd be nice to have a more warm color palette with Choco the black cat. Um, so here I'm just freehanding some flowers just very roughly and again it was really nice just to let go of my perfectionist side of things and really just try and enjoy the whole process which helped a lot in ending up with a more lazy maybe not lazy but more like natural and organic way of sketching that i haven't really explored in a while so i'm very happy with this When I want to add color on top of the sketch that I did, I turned the opacity down to about 9% and you can barely see it on the paper, but this just helps me have a guideline in where to place the color. So here I'm first going to work on the yellow petals 
and as you can see it's sort of like I can trace the outline that I drew earlier. I'm going to use the same techniques that I walked you guys through before and keep adding layers of the leaves and the stems. So this next portion will just be me sketching without much talking, but I hope you enjoy it and that it also brings some peace and relaxation into your watch. The print still looked a little bit unfinished to me, so I wanted to think about what word can describe this print. And I think bloom really describes the print as well as the place in my artist's life right now as well. I feel like I still have a lot of room to grow and bloom describes where I want to be, to be able to grow and get out of the art block and really just um, tap into my creative side and I thought it was a great way to accent it with the sort of burgundy red as well to bring out some of the other shades in the print. The 
final touch I'm going to add to this print is a checkered border. I think it adds to more of the retro feel that took place when the print developed and I wanted to add a nice little border to really complete it and make it seem finished. And this is a shade of orange but a more reddish orange to complement the lettering as well. This is the final print. I'm actually very happy with how this print came out. It was really just a way for me to get my ideas down on the canvas and I'm really glad that I was able to bring you guys through this process and I hope you guys like this one too. So I want to encourage anybody who's having art block to just draw and get your ideas out on paper and you know, it will formulate itself over time and I'm proud of this one. that we just drew together. I've been dealing with a lot of art block these days and I posted it on my Instagram about sort of like illustrating how I'm feeling about it. Um, when art block happens for me, it's like inhib it like prohibits me from like getting anything on paper. Um, just from the fear that the stuff I'm drawing isn't authentic or it is forced or sometimes I just don't have any ideas at all and it can get discouraging I think especially as a freelance artist but um, I think one way to combat it that I have been doing is just like what I did right now is just scribbling things out telling myself that it doesn't have to be perfect that sometimes even imperfect lines or imperfect scribbles can amount to something um, cute and I'm actually really happy with how this print turned out not because I think it's perfect or up to the standards that I hold myself to but just because it's me on a page and I think I definitely want to keep doing things like this daily just getting all of my ideas out and um, I'll also list all the brushes that I used today. Very simple, self-explanatory, but I'll link that down below for you guys too. But if any of you are struggling with art block or just 
having struggles getting ideas out then definitely try this exercise a day just go for it without thinking too much without uh, nitpicking too much just get color on paper and sometimes the results can be even better than we imagined so yeah anyways thank you so much for joining me on this short draw with me tutorial and i can't wait to make new videos for you guys soon